Hello, my name is Wendy Wick Reeves, Curator of Prints and Drawings at the National Portrait Gallery. We had two great presidential moments last winter at the National Portrait Gallery. We collect portraits of all the presidents, of course, and in December of 2008, the president and first lady came to unveil a wonderful portrait of George W. Bush by his classmate, Robert Anderson. A very successful painting, in my view. And then in January of 2009, over inauguration weekend, we unveiled a very different kind of portrait, Shepard Fairey's hope image of Barack Obama. All of our inauguration visitors immediately recognized the Hope portrait as the iconic image of Barack Obama's campaign. As everyone knows, Ferry's design spawned hundreds of thousands of small stickers, of t-shirts, posters, and literally uncountable copies from the free downloadable version on the web. To us, it was very intriguing that a political portrait could have such a widespread impact. But although our visitors recognized the image and understood its significance in terms of the nature of the campaign and the ultimate success of the candidate, people have been amazed when they see our fine art version of Ferry's Obama portrait in person. You certainly have all the recognizable elements of the basic design, that simplified stenciled face, the visionary upward and outward glance, the division between the half red and half blue, referencing the political spectrum of, of the electorate. All that is very familiar. But when you stand in front of this piece, it is quite overwhelming. It is surprisingly large, much bigger than the familiar poster, and scale really is important. Ferry had studied the history of visual propaganda and political graphics and is drawn to those grandiose portraits of Mao or Stalin, for instance. And although he understands the negative side of authoritarian imagery, he also really admires its power. And he speaks of this image as a form of positive propaganda, retaining that compelling power, but substituting inspiration for that sense of threatening control. So size really enhances that impact. The symbolic colors are also more subtle and beautiful than people guessed. There are multiple blues. The reds have an almost oriental orange tinge, as well as a subtle overlay of gold. And it isn't a pure white, either. There is certainly symbolic significance in the fact that it is off-white. The other distinctive element here is the very complex and beautiful collaged surface, which you don't get any sense of in, any of in many other versions. Beneath the stenciled face are layers of paper some of these elegant decorative papers are Ferry's own design, and you can recognize in places the star-shaped obey image that was a famous part of the artist's street art. It is translated here into an elaborate, beautiful, ornamental background. Ferry also loves and collects old newspapers, which he has collaged onto this complex surface. What the Cubist artists at the beginning of the 20th century loved about newspaper collage was its seemingly random but strangely evocative associations. And I think you get that quality here. When you study this piece closely, interesting words start popping out at you. Beautiful, fresh vision, no mess, Stay up, purity, best, player. There are some negative words as well. 
weak, falling, drowning. But juxtaposing the larger number of positive words against the negative seems to imply the mindset of the artist echoing Obama's supporters. Many people, young people especially, really bought into this image and the concept of a fresh new voice to set against the serious perils confronting the country. So we hope a lot of people will have an opportunity to visit the museum and see this piece in person. Maybe others will find words in the newsprint that I missed. Yes, we caught the idea of that strong graphic every time it flashed by us during the campaign. But now we have a portrait that had a true political significance, but also deserves a more in-depth study and appreciation. What more could you ask from a work of art?